Charlie, this is really exciting. I'm here with both a legendary Olympian, Dan Jansen, and a brand new Olympian, Aaron Hamlin, separated by exactly 20 Olympic years. So let's start with you, Dan, since you've got a few more years on Aaron. We'll give you the seniority here. Um, what's it like being back at the Olympics 20 years later after Lillehammer? Oh, my gosh. It's, uh, they're always fun. This is my fifth one I'm calling, and uh, it's just the atmosphere at any Winter Games, at any Olympics, but it's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, it's nerve-wracking, as Aaron can tell you, but uh, now the pressure's off. Um, it's, it's great fun, and to, to be here with City is even better. So tell me about City. Tell me about the program and how you are each involved with it. Aaron, let's start with you. Yeah, I am so excited and honored to be part of it. And I, the Every Step of the Way program, I'm partnering with the USA Luge Slider Search um, Clinic program that basically gets kids involved in the sport, spreads uh, spreads awareness around the country. And luge isn't exactly your uh, mainstream sport. So in order to grow uh, the popularity and basically create the next generation of athletes like myself, I got into the sport this way, um, attending one of these clinics. So, Great, excellent. And you're leaving out one important detail. Not only are you a medalist, you are the first medalist in this sport for America. That is really cool. How does that feel? It's amazing to have such a historic um, thing happen. You know, I won Worlds in 2009 and I was the first American woman, woman to do that. So now to be the first singles medal in luge in, in U.S. history is phenomenal. It's never something I really set out thinking I could do, but um, I'm really excited and, and hopefully, you know, come full circle being able to give back and hopefully keep it going and have more, more podium finishes. What are you going to do with that medal? I'm not really sure. Awesome. Protect <laughs> it. I don't know. Maybe ask Dan what he did. Did you just like leave it in your house? Yeah, how about like, some advice here, Dan? Yeah. What, what advice do you have about taking care of your metal here? So everybody's going to want to see it. So mm -hmm. let them do that and then get a nice case and put it on your wall. And then if they want to see it, they come to the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. my advice. I like that. So let's talk about having fun here at the games. We're an entertainment outlet. So we want to know, like, what are you guys doing to hang out? Now that you're finished, are you going to party a little bit? Um, I hope to be able to spend a lot of time, you know, with my teammates and staff. We are fortunate to be one of the first sports done, so we get to kind of experience the games more than a lot of other athletes. Probably top of my list, and then, yeah, getting to just hang out and experience Russia. It's crazy being here, so um, it, it should be fun. Have you had any surprises here in Sochi? Anything you weren't expecting? Uh, winning a medal was probably number one. Um, that's the biggest surprise. But honestly, we were here in November and seeing how far everything has come here and how much they've kind of pulled things together, I'm, I'm very impressed because when we were here a couple months ago, we were thinking, oh, this, might, this is going to be a feat for them to, to get it together. But uh, so far, it's been good and, and I'm very impressed. And it's been gorgeous. Awesome. So one other difference between the two of you, not to date you, Dan, but something... <laughs> <laughs> Something that didn't exist during your Olympics that is prevalent now is the internet. So there's been a lot of tweeting going on between like not only fans and friends and stuff, but celebrities back in Hollywood. Have you heard any fun tweets from like anybody you're a fan of? Oh my gosh, yeah. Like it was opening ceremonies day and obviously you're pumped about that, but I happened to be on my phone and Miranda Lambert like tweeted at me and I was I saw that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. And someone's like, you're like at opening ceremonies. I'm like, yeah, but this is really cool too. So that was awesome. Um, a couple Kings of Leon tweeted and I've gotten a couple of followers that um, I probably would never would have ever had if I hadn't won a medal. So it's, it's been crazy and my phone has been going absolutely insane. Who else that you haven't heard from yet would you just die if they were to send you a message? Like, who are you a big fan of back in Hollywood? Um, Julia Roberts is probably my absolute all-time favorite actress. And yeah, I one time I like was in the same place as her and was probably my biggest starstruck moment. So that would be number one for sure. Great. How does it make you feel, Dan? Do you wish you had Twitter back then in 94? You know what? I, I got a fax from Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> that That's my story. So... Uh. <laughs> yeah. But from Jimmy Buffett, that's pretty cool. That's right. That's you right. literally got a fax from him. What did it say? It said, blow the volcano. And that's all it said. Yeah. That's well, you know what? That's a, that would have fit. That's enough characters that it would have fit in a tweet anyway. So he was kind of predicting the future, right? He kept it yeah. short. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. No, but look, hey, she is what the Olympics are about. And she is what the city program is about. Really, every step of the way. She, she can tell you right now, we start and with nothing and you find ways and you, it is truly a step process. Um, so Aaron, do you watch the show Dancing with the Stars? I, I have watched a little bit of it. Um, training schedules sometimes make it tough, but I, I have dabbled in watching it a little. So let's say if they were to approach you about doing the show, is it something you'd be interested in? 
Um, it would be a lot of fun. I'm not a very good dancer, uh, but and it's a lot of pressure, I feel like, as an Olympian, because all the other athletes that have gone on there have absolutely killed it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, i got to keep that streak going. Um, so I think I would be 100 times more nervous for that than actually doing my sport. Um, but I, yeah, it would be fun. It would be interesting. Can you think of any other athletes on this year's team that would be a good choice for Dancing with the Stars? Um, I'm pretty sure my teammate Kate Hansen might fit that bill. I think she's made herself famous by her, uh, her stellar dance moves, so that would be pretty entertaining. Excellent. And Dan, what about you? Dancing? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's begged me to try to get on there, but I, it's not my... <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm not... Apollo made it too hard to live up to uh, yeah. for any, any of the speed skaters. Yeah, good point. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for chatting with us today. This is Charlie here with City Athletes, Aaron and Dan. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. 20 years later and a couple days later. Congratulations. <laughs>